Hello dear listeners, it's my hope you are feeling okay and today we are going to analyze the book called The Black Hermit written by Ngugi wa Thiongo. Mpenzi msikilizaji, ni matumaini yangu ni mzima wa afya na leo tutajifunza juu ya kitabu kinachofahamika kwa jina la The Black Hermit ambapo mwandishi wa tamthilia yetu anafahamika kwa jina la Ngugi wa Thiongo. The setting of our book is Post Independence African Society and the publisher or publishing house of our book is East African Education Publishers in the year of 1968. Ah, mpenzi msikilizaji, na mandha ya kitabu chetu ni katika nchi za Kiafrika baada ya uhuru. Na wachapishaji wa kitabu chetu ni kampuni inayofahamika kwa jina la East African Education Publishers mnamo mwaka wa 1968. Dear listener, in our book we have number of character which can be analyzed as follows. Ampenzi msikilizaji, katika kitabu chetu kuna idadi nyingi ya wahusika ambao tuweza tukawachambua kama ifuatavyo. The first and the main character of our book is called Remy. Musika mkuu wa kitabu chetu anafahamika kwa jina la Remy. Remy is the main character of our book. Remy ndiye musika mkuu wa kitabu chetu. Another character is called Omange. Musika mwingine ambaye tutakuja kumuona katika kitabu chetu anafahamika kwa jina la Omange. He is a friend of Remy. Huyu ni rafiki wa Remy. Another character in our book is called Thorny. Who his inherited wife. Musika mwingine anafahamika kwa jina la Thorny ambaye ni mwanamke atakayetarajiwa kulithiwa. Another character is Nobi. Who is the mother of Remy. Musika mwingine anafahamika kwa jina la Nyobi ambaye ni mama wa Remy. Another character is called Jen who is a girlfriend of Remy. Musika mwingine anafahamika kwa jina la Jen ambaye ni mchumba church. Musika mwingine ambaye tutamuona katika tamthilia yetu anafahamika kwa jina la pasta ambaye ndiye kiongozi wa kanisa. Huyu ni mchungaji. Another character is called Leader who is a leader of elders. Musika mwingine ni leader, yani kiongozi ambaye atakuwa anawaongoza wazee. We have also first elder, second elder, first neighbor and second neighbor woman. Pia wahusika wengine ni kama a, mzee wa kwanza, mzee wa pili, lakini pia tuna jirani wa kwanza na jirani wa pili ambaye huyu jirani wa pili ni wa kike. Okay, now I would like to give you an overview of the story. Kwa sasa ningependa nikupe a picha au sura ya story yetu japo kwa ufupi. The writer uses Remy as a main character in this play. Remy loves a girl called Thorny in his village, but he is shy to tell her what is brewing in his heart. Mwandishi amemtumia Remy kama muhusika mkuu ambaye anampenda binti anayefahamika kwa jina la Thorny pale kijijini lakini kutokana na uoga Remy anashindwa kumwambia nini ambacho kipo katika moyo wake He tries to confide in his brother but he could not do so Alijaribu hata kumshirikisha kaka yake amsaidie lakini alishindwa He then goes to the college he makes up his mind that he will tell her kwa sasa akaelekea masomoni na akaweka akilini kwamba ipo siku atamwambia. But his misfortune the same day he receives a letter from home informing him that she and his brother are to be married. Lakini kutokana na kutokuwa na bahati akati yuko masomoni akapokea barua inamtaarifu kwamba yule binti ambaye ni Thorny na kaka yake wanakaribia kuoana. Remy is so hurt by that. Later, he reconciles himself and condoms everything such that the girl is no longer means anything to him. Baada ya kupata taarifa hizo, zilimuumiza sana moyo. Na ndipo hapo alipoona kwamba a mwanamke kwake hana faida yoyote. Few months after marriage, hard six months, his brother dies. Lakini baada ya ndoa ilipita miezi sita na ndipo kaka yake akafariki. He is crushed by a motor car. Alipata ajali ya pikipiki. Then his father's mouth, his brother's dies. 
froze Eels as a result of the shock following the death of Remy's brother. While in his illness, he calls Len to his bed and tell him to mail Thorny. Kifo cha kakaki na Remy kikapelikia baba yaki kupata mshtuko. Na ndipo, akapata uh, matatizo tunasema illness ni kama ugonjo au kupalalaizi kushindwa kufanya uh, chochoto. Akatumia fursa hiyo kumuita Remy pembeni mwakitanda chake na kumambia amuowe Thorny. His brother's widow. The father tells Lem, you know our custom, your brother's wife is now your wife. Ndipo, baba yake anamambia, kama unavufamu utamudu ni wetu. Mke alokuwa kakako, kwa sasa ni mke wako. Remy refused to marry her. He does not believe that Thorny is real love him because he has a lead identified her love to his brother. Later, he decided to go to the city as a hermit to escape from tribal pressure that requires him to marry Thorn. Remy akakata kumuwa yule binti. Kwani, hakawa amini kama kweli Thorn anamapenzi ya zati kwake. Kwa kuwa, alikuwa anamapenzi ya zati kwa kakake ambaye aliolewa nae. Kutokana na sababu hiyo, akamua kuenda mjini, yani kuhamit, kukimbia. Amekimbia nini? Amekimbia tribal pressure that requires him to marry Thorn. Zile nguvu za kiutamaduni na tamaduni zao ambazo zinamtaka yeye aweze kumooa Thorn. After reaching the city, he is employed as a clerk in an oil company. Baada ya kufika mjini, akaajiliwa kama kalani katika kiwanda cha oil, yani cha kusambaza mafuta. He begins receiving salary, but he could not send anything to home. Ndipo alipoanza kupokea ujira lakini katika ule ujira aliyokuwa akipokea halikuwa hakumbuki kwao kwani alikuwa hatumi chochote. In the city, Remy changes. He becomes both with girls. Alipofika mjini, Remy akabadilika, akaanza kujihusisha uh, na wanawake. He begins indulging in true all sort of luxury life. Akaanza kujiingiza katika anasa mbalimbali za maisha. He gets a white girlfriend called Jenny, to whom he keep a visiting night clubs in the city. Akapata mchumba ambaye, alikuwa ni mzungu wa nafamika kwa jina la Jane. Kazi yao ilikuwa ni kuenda night club pale kwenye lile jiji. Having spent of time in the city, his mother, Nyobi, and his wife, Thorny, becomes unhappy and hence the mother decided to consult the pastor so that he could help them to persuade Remy to back from the city. Kutokana na sababu hiyo, mama yake ambaye alikuwa anafahamika kwa jina la Nyobi, pamoja na mkewe ambaye ni Thorny ambaye alikuwa anatarajiwa aje kumisi, wakakosa furaha. Ndipo alipo ndipo alipoamua kwenda kwa pasta ili wamueleze awasaidie akumshawishi Remy arudi kijijini. The village people are also in need of him to come back to the village. Lakini pia hata wana kijiji walikuwa na muitaji Remy aweze kulejea pale nyumbani. They consider him to be the savior who could save them out of exploitation, land alienation and all sort of vices exercised by the government. Waliamini kwamba Remy ndiye msaidizi wao mkuu ambaye atakuja kuokoa kutoka katika unyonyaji upokonywaji wa ardhi yenye rutuba na njia zote za maovu zilizokuwa zikifanywa na serikali they send the elders to go and to convince him to come back ikabidi watume wazee waende wakamshawishi ili Remy arudi kijijini also the pastor goes to convince him to come back later he gradually begin realizing that he has run away from his responsibility na pia Pasta naye alitumwa kamshawishi Remy aweze kurudi kijijini na baadaye akaanza kutambua kwamba yeye amekimbia majukumu yake. He becomes a hermit. Amekuwa ni mtu ambaye ni hermit. Hermit means a person who run from a certain problem, kwamba mtu aliyekimbia matatizo fulani. Remy himself says, Remy alisikika akisema, I do though I would escape from things that we are me. They were part of my life. I must now rise and go to the country for I must severe our people save them from traditional or bad custom free them from tribal and mansels 
Remy anasikika akisema mimi nimekimbia vitu ambavyo vipo upande wangu. Vilikuwa ni sehemu ya maisha yangu. Kwa sasa inabidi ni rais. Nirudi katika watu wangu niweze kuwasaidia. Niweze kuwasaidia kutoka katika mila mbaya na niwafanye wawe huru kutoka katika ukabila. He then tells his girlfriend Jane that he wants to go back because his brothers need his tribes need him. Ndipo alipoamua kumwambia mchumba wake Jane kwamba anahitaji kurudi kwani kwao wanamhitaji. Jenny is so angry beginning blaming him at why he has lied to her that is a cold male each other. Hapo ndipo Jane alipoanza kumlalamikia kwa kumlaumu kwamba kwa nini unanisali tunarudi kwenu akati tuliediana tutaoana. She tell him that he is supposed to have told her the truth. Akamwambia ilibidi uniambie mimi ukweli. Hiding is a sign of weakness in Remy. Hapa ndipo tunapogundua kitu kwamba kuficha mambo ilikuwa ni udhaifu mmoja wapo wa Remy. He goes back to the village with his friend Omange. When he is in the village, Remy begins blaming the villagers for being tribalist and is a pastor for having divided people with his church. Remy akaamua kurejea kijijini akiwa na rafiki yake ambaye anafahamika kwa jina la Omange. Alipofika akaanza kuwalaumu wana kijiji kwa kuambia kwa nini wamekuwa wa kabila. Pia akaanza kumlaumu pasta kwa kuwagawanya watu katika kanisa lake. Thus making people work na sababu hii inapelekea watu wawe zaifu. He then argue them to live together and to work also to rising some difference among so that they could solve their problems and develop. Ndipo alipoanza kuwashawishi kwamba wafanye kazi waondoe tofauti zao hiyo ndiyo itawasaidia kuondoa matatizo yao yote na wataweza kuendelea he tells them to forget about tribalism and to urge them to turn into soil akawashawishi waachane na ukabila warudi kwenye ardhi alikuwa akimaanisha nini anavyosema warudi kwenye ardhi means they must return into works especially work in the farm alikuwa akimaanisha warudi kazini na sana sana ni zile kazi za shamba to build more schools to unite and to work hard in order to create a new nation akashawishi pia wajenge shule nyingi waungane wafanye kazi kwa bidii kwa lengo la kujenga jamii mpya au taifa ya jipya he later blames his mother lakini baadaye ikafikia kipindi akaanza kumlaumu na mama yake mzazi sarcastically saying that she has made him to marry a woman who loves another man. Kwa kumkijeli kwamba anamlazimisha kumuoa mwanamke ambaye anampenda mwanaume mwingine. Remy speaks so badly about Thorn that she does not even care to listen what he has to say. Remy akaanza kumzungumzia vibaya Thorn. Baka ikafikia kipindi Thorn akashindwa kuvumilia kile kilichokuwa kikisemwa. He finally realized that he has been too harsh with the people and to Thorn. Lakini baadaye Remy anajigundua kwamba amekuwa ni mtu ambaye kawa mkali kupitiliza kwa watu wake pamoja na Thorn, never giving her chance and thus causing her to commit suicide. Remy hakuweza kumpa hata nafasi Thorn sababu hii inamfanya Thorn aende na kujiua mwenyewe. Naam, mpenzi msikilizaji, hiyo ilikuwa ni general overview au general structure of our play. Hiyo a, ilikuwa ndiyo structure yetu ya play au ndiyo story yetu kwa ufupi. Now, I would like to tell you things found in our play. Kwa sasa, ningependa kukueleza juu ya dhamira zinazopatikana katika tamthilia yetu. There are different traditions and customs portrayed in this play. Some of these are traditional give us the impression of chasing and preserving them from the future generation and some to do uh, and some we shall do not do the following are the african tradition and the custom themes portrayed in this book uh, mpenzi msikilizaji mwandishi amejaribu kuonesha baadhi ya mila na tamaduni ambazo zingine ndatakiwa tuzifanye na zingine inabidi tuzifanye lakini uh, zifuatazo ni za mila ambazo zimejiegemeza katika tamaduni za Mwafrika The first theme is all about widow inheritance. Zamila ya kwanza ni kulisi wajani. 
It is common custom among African society and the Marua tribe is no exception. Uh, dhamila hii inafanyika sana katika uh, jamii za Kiafrika lakini pia hata kabila la Marua katika kitabu hichi nao walikuwa wakifanya. According to Marua tribe it is possible to inherit the wife of a brother who is dead. Remy find himself faced by his fact when his brother dies by a motor accident and his father and elders tell him to inherit the wife of his late brother according to custom. Remy baada ya kaka yake kufariki anaambiwa na baba yake pamoja na wazee aweze kumlifi Thoni. Speaking to Oman he says akati anamsimulia rafiki yake Oman Remy anasema he called me to his bed and said Remy you know our custom your brother's wife is now your wife. Remy anamwadisia rafiki yake Oman anamwambia baba yangu aliniita pembeni mwa kitanda chake na akaniambia kama unavyofahamu tamaduni zetu mke aliyokuwa wa kakako kwa sasa ni mke wako this is one of the reason why remy runs away to the city hii ni miongoni mwa sababu iliyopelekea remy akimbilie mjini this custom is, den- is dangerous especially in this era of hiv and aids because more often than not eh, in some cases it is not possible to know whether the person who dies was hiv positive or not so it should be discarded lakini kwa ulimwengu huu ambako kuna magonjwa kama virusi vya ukimwi na ukimwi kulisi wajane sio dhamira nzuri. Huwezi jua je mke aliyeachwa ana virusi au hana. Another theme in our book is all about superstition and witchcraft. Zamila nyingine ni swala la ushirikina. In this play it shown that the Malua elders believe in the power of Malua medicine. Katika kitabu chetu mwandishi ameonyesha kwamba uh, kabila la marua wanaamini katika madawa yao ya asili ambao wanayaita marua medicine they believe it is a power to work on Remy's mind and to change his attitude to decide to go back to the home waliamini dawa hizi za kimarua zinaweza zikabadilisha akili ya Remy na zikamfanya aweze kurudia nyumbani as they go to look for Lem in the city one of the elders killed a band of medicine well wrapped with the dry banana leaves on leaving the house drops at the door way kama tunakumbuka pale ambapo wazee wanamfata remi mjini kwenda kumshawishi arudi kijijini kuna mzee alibeba mzigo wa madawa lakini pia na maganda ya ndizi aliyokauka na akaweza kuyadondosha mlangoni ukurasa sina moja yeye aliamini ah, madawa yanaweza kabadilisha akili ya remi na kurejea kijijini moreover the maruo people believe that the neighboring community are jealous of them the even attributed by Remy's disappearance to black magic that he might have been used for the enablers to land his mind against the tribe lakini pia watu katika kitabu hicho waliamini kuwa jamii ambazo zilikuwa ni majirani zao walikuwa wanachuki hivyo waliweza kumroga Remy na ndipo akaamua kukimbia katika jamii yake also in page 12 the leader says ukurasa wa 12 kiongozi anasema who can doubt that Remy's mind was spoiled by the evil eyes of neighbor kwamba je ni nani ambaye atashindwa kuamini kwamba akili ya Remy imeweza kuchafuliwa sana sana na jamii zetu za kigeni yani majirani zetu this custom is not good it may lead to hatred and unnecessary conflict among communities just because of false speculation so it should be discarded lakini zamila hii haina uhalisia kwani inakosa hoja za kudhibitika kisayansi na pia inaweza ikasababisha migogoro katika jamii hivyo hatuna budi kuipiga vita Another theme in our book is traditional religion zamila nyingine ni traditional religion yani dini za asili In this society some of people are still traditionalist who believe in traditional religion while others are fooled by Christianity for example when the elder talks to Nyobi to convince her praise the medicine he says last month our diviner had a message from god he had a vision and there he saw a tribe expand becoming powerful dominating the whole country in page 8 kwamba katika kitabu chetu watu walikuwa naamini katika traditional religion dini la dini za asili lakini wengine wakaadapt a uh, christianity yani ukristo mfano mzuri ni pastor lakini tukumbuke pale elder ambako anamwambia nyobi kumshawishi uh, 
kuhusu kutumia marua madisini alimwambia mwezi uliopita uh, kwamba waliweza kupata nguvu kutoka kwa Mungu eh, lakini pia nguvu hiyo ndio inawafanya wanaendelea ku expand na kuwa na nguvu katika uh, nchi yao kwa maana walikuwa na dini yao ya asili ambao wanaiamini and also before the elders to leave for the city say go to the mountain to say their prayers this is also bad since the mountains cannot hear or no answering their prayers lakini pia wazee waliweza kwenda uh, kabla wajenda mjini waliweza kwenda milimani kwa ajili ya kufanya maombi lakini maombi haya tukumbuke hayawezi kusikika kwani milima haiwezi kujini another theme in our book is all about tribalism and racialism tuna dhamira ya ukabila pamoja na ubaguzi wa rangi some african societies perpetuated the spirit of tribalism and racialism baadhi ya jamii za Kiafrika zinaendelea kufanya uh, mambo ya ukabila pamoja na ubaguzi wa rangi this is very bad custom that has to be stopped for example remy hates uh remy hates this and is trying uh, his level best to stop he says uh, kwamba zamila ya ubaguzi wa rangi imejizilisha pale ambapo remy anaichukia na anajaribu kutaka ku stop pale kijijini anaposema even at college i hated the many small political and social organization based on tribe and race kwamba hata nilipokuwa chuo nilikuwa nikichukia baadhi ya uh, siasa ambazo zilikuwa zinapelekea mambo ya ubaguzi ubaguzi na mambo ya rangi he also comes with omang a man from jombe tribe and introduce him as his brother and there and, and there too kwamba lakini pia kutokana na kupinga ishu ya ubaguzi wa rangi eh, aliweza kurudi kijijini na rafiki yake anaitwa Omange na akamtambulisha kama kaka yake also racialism is shown in two, two ways lakini pia ubaguzi wa rangi umeoneshwa kwa namna mbili african uh, don't want people from other race wa afrika walikuwa wataki watu kutoka katika uh, rangi nyingine the elder say and the married this woman daughter of the tribe instead of going to white skin the woman kwamba we 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 are happy kwamba kitendo cha wewe kuja kumuoa huyu mwanamke badala ya kwenda kwa mwanamke mwenye ngozi nyeupe sisi tulikuwa tuna furaha kwa hiyo furaha yao wao ni kuona remi anaoa mwanamke ambaye eh, ana ngozi nyeusi na sio nyeupe and also Asians hostess people who cooperate with Africans in page 22 omg say this affairs of all Asian girl who has been ostracized by her community because she was seen going around with an african is not an isolated case kwamba omang alisikia akisema akimzungumzia mwanamke wa Asia ambaye alionekana kutembea na muafrika na ndipo akatengwa na jamii yake kwa hiyo hivyo ndio ndivyo uh, racialism ilivyoweza kuoneshwa another theme to discuss in our book is all about the respect elders or parent as amila ku waheshimu wazazi uh, in this society is family young are supposed to respect elders or parents ndio kitabu chetu maandisha maonesha kwamba wana familia inabidi waheshimu wazee eh, remy accept inherited his brother's wife at first as a way of showing respect for elders mfano mzuri ni pale ambapo remy kwa mara ya kwanza anakubali kumrithi soni kama mkewe lakini pale alijibu tu kwa heshima ya wazee eh, lakini kiwalisia alikuwa ataki another thing in our book is all about christianity zamila nyingine ni uh, issue ya ukristo Uh, even since the coming of the white man african societies we are divided into two major beliefs there were those who remained traditionalist following the, their own religion of their ancestors and those who were converted to christianity ikumbuke tu kabla ujio wa koloni au afrika tuligawanyika katika makundi makubwa mawili wapo ambao tulikuwa tuna dini zetu za asili na wapo ambao wali adapt to christo is this pray both cases are portrayed na katika kitabu chetu hizi issue mbili zote zimeoneshwa The elders represent those who have decided to afford their traditional religion. Wazee wanawakilisha wale ambao wameamua kubaki na dini zao za asili. For example, people like Ngome, Nyobi, Remy and Pastor choose to become Christianity. However, in this prayer the division is obviously since religious difference have brought more conflict and disunity and have split of the countries apart lakini uh, dini ya Kristo inasababisha kutokea kwa matabaka kati ya elders na pastor pamoja na kundi lake kwa hiyo inatengeneza disunity na jamii inakuwa weak another issue to discuss in this book is all about the position of woman in the society kwa sasa tuangalie nafasi ya mwanamke katika jamii 
woman are portrayed as a tool of pleasure by many kwanza mwanamke ameoneshwa kama ni chombo cha stare kwa mwanaume in this play we see Jane being used by Remy just for to satisfy his sexual desires but when it come to the issue of marrying her Remy refused Uh, kwanza kabisa tunaona uh, the way Jenny anavutumika kama chombo cha stare na ndio maana ilipokuja issue ya marriage Remy aliweza kukataa and also women portrayed as weak individual lakini pia mwanamke ameoneshwa kama ni kiumbe dhaifu in this society women are undermined and reduced to properties that can be inherited when his first own pass away uh, katika kitabu chetu mwandishi anaonesha jinsi gani wanawake walivyokuwa ni dhaifu hata zile mali ambazo za watu waliokuwa wakiishi nao wakiweza kufariki hawana nafasi ya kulisi this marua custom does not give a woman a chance to decide who will be her husband or whether she loves him or not lakini pia haimpi nafasi mwanamke wa kumchagua ni mtu gani ambaye atakuwa mume wake baada ya yule aliyekuwa naye mwanzo kufa eh, kwamba hana nafasi hiyo hata kama mtu ampendi kwa atalazimishwa au alewe nawe Rather than she has to conform to wishes of the elders by marrying the brother of her husband however this custom seems to be one of the major causes of conflict since the Remy runs away from Tony believing that she does not love him na sababu hii tukumbuke ndio ile mfanya Remy aweze kukimbia kwa kuamini kwamba yule mwanadada hampendi kweli kweli lakini kwa upande wa mwanadada alikuwa ni kiumbe dhaifu ambaye anachaguliwa ni mume yupi aweze kumua also women are portrayed as a caretaker or consorts pia mwanamke ameoneshwa kama ni mtu ambaye anachukua uangalifu nyobi is portrayed as the mother who takes good care of the children mfano mzuri ni nyobi ambaye alikuwa ni mama yake na remi ameoneshwa kama ni mama mzuri ambaye anachukua uangalizi kwa watoto also she wonders that uh, what has become of remis he own son since does not reply the letters she sent to him Fano mzuri ni pale ambapo anapomuonya Remy kwa nini uh, hajibu barua ambazo wanamtumia. And also women are portrayed as the people who see true love lakini pia mwanamke ameoneshwa kama ni mtu mwenye mapenzi ya kweli. Thorny is portrayed as the person who see true love uh, Remy to Remy despite of the fact that Remy runs away from her she determined to wait even for 20 years. Uh, mfano mzuri ni pale ambapo tunaona jinsi gani uh, <coughs> Jenny uh, no no uh, tunaona jinsi gani Remy aliweza kukimbia ku, uh, ku, ku, kukataa kumoa Thorny lakini Thorny aliweza kumsubiri kwa takriban miaka ishirini kwa hiyo hapa ni woman portrayed as the one who is true love kwa hiyo Thorny alikuwa na mapenzi ya dhati kwaweza kumsubiri kwa miaka ishirini mtu ayupo na kuamua kutafuta mwanaume mwingine and also woman portrayed as the sympathetic people Uh, for example nyobi sympathize with Tony due to the state of loneliness and even advise Tony to take another husband to conquer her world uh, loneliness and also woman advise the Tony not to think on killing of herself eh? she even invites Tony to go and to live with her eh, mwanamke ameoneshwa kama ni mtu ambaye ah, ana, ana huruma na uvumilivu mfano mzuri ni nyobi ambaye alikuwa anamhurumia sana Tony kutokana na upweke aliyokuwa nao ikafikia kipindi ambaka kaanza kumshauri labda atafute mume mwingine ambaye ataishi naye kumniwaza lakini pia akamshauri akamshaushi asiweze kufikiria mawazo ya kuweza kujiua another theme to discuss in this book is all about conflict as a mila nyingine ni issue ya migogoro conflict refer to the misunderstanding or uh, misunderstanding or collision of ideas uh, viewpoints or opinion with a, with a person between or among groups of people in a society kwamba hichi ni kitendo cha kutokuelewana au kuwepo kwa misuguano kati ya mawazo au mitazamo au maoni au mtu mmoja au kundi la watu zidi ya jingine or the situation in which there is uh, opposing ideas or opinions or feeling or wishes au pia itezekani kitendo ambacho kunakuwa kuna ideas ambazo zinapingana hisia au matarajio Uh, in this play conflict reveals in different way uh, first of all we have intrapersonal conflict uh, due to some circumstances there are different intrapersonal conflict among the following people kwanza kabisa kulikuwa kuna migogoro ya mtu <coughs> yani intrapersonal within a person mgogoro wa nafsi ya mtu for example thorny 
have a interpersonal conflict mfano Sony alikuwa na mgogoro uh, wa nafsi she suffers interpersonal conflict since her husband is dead and now she faces loneliness uh, alipata huu mgogoro pale ambapo mume wake anafariki na anabaki mpweke na remi akawa haeleweki and also nyobi she suffer interpersonal conflict firstly uh, due to the sudden death uh, of her son followed by her husband and the later disappearance of remi um, thoni nyobi pia anakuwa na mgogoro wa nafsi pale ambapo uh, anashuhudia kifo cha mtoto wake ambaye alikuwa ni kakaki wa remi lakini kinafuatiwa na kifo cha mume wake lakini baadaye anakuja kudisapia remi remi naye anakuja kupotea kwa akawa na mgogoro wa nafsi and also second uh, we have a interpersonal conflict uh, based on the character called Remy he suffers interpersonal conflict because of the circumstance taking place in the country and his tribe in particular alikuwa na face mgogoro wa nafsi kutokana na issue ambazo zilikuwa zinaendelea katika jamii yake mm, pamoja na issue ya ukabila that is why he runs away to the town na hii ndio sababu iliyopelekea akakimbilia mjini and also we have interpersonal conflict this is a conflict or misunderstanding uh, between two people kwa sasa tuangalie sasa ile migogoro uh, inahusisha watu wawili pale tulikuwa naangalia mgogoro wa mtu mmoja uh, first there is a conflict between Remy and Jane kwanza tuna mgogoro kati ya Remy na Jane this is a chaos when Remy wants to go back home refuses to take Jane with him eh, ili tokea pale ambapo Remy anakataa kurudi nyumbani pamoja na Jane and also there is a conflict or misunderstanding between Remy and Omang lakini pia kuna mgogoro kati ya Remy pamoja na Omang Uh, Remy wants the government in the new independent country to be strict example people have no right to oppose the government workers have no right to strike for higher wages among oppose uh, this idea umgogoro ulikuja pale ambapo Remy alikuwa akitaka iundo serikali mpya ambako watu watakuwa hawana uhuru wa kuikosoa waiache ifanye kazi na hiyo uh, serikali iwe strict ni watu wasilalamiki hata kama ujira ni mdogo lakini Omange aliweza ku, uh, ku, ku, kupinga hilo wazo akajikuta anaingia katika conflict and also there is a contradiction of the question of marrying Thorne lakini pia kuna mgogoro katika issue ya kumuoa Thorne Remy believe that she does not loves him or herself eh mgogoro huu unasababisha kwamba Remy alikuwa haamini kama Thorne kweli anahitaji kuolewa naye and also have family conflict Uh, for example there is a family conflict between Remy and his mother this occurs when Remy runs away to leave Thorn alone uh, pia kuna mgogoro wa kifamilia ambapo unatokea pale ambapo Remy anakimbia na anaingia katika mgogoro na mama yake uh, kwa kukataa kumoa Thorn na kumwacha mpweke and also we have cultural conflict pia tuna mgogoro wa kitamaduni uh, there is obvious conflict between traditionalists and the who follow traditional ways of life such as Christianity kwani tunaona kuna mgogoro kati ya wale wanaofuata tamaduni za kisasa kama Ukristo na wale wanaoshikilia tamaduni zao za kale. And here we have the group of pastor and elders. Tunaona kundi lilojitenga kati ya pasta pamoja na wazee. <coughs> and also have political conflict. Pia tuna mgogoro wa kisiasa. There is a conflict between a new government uh, and the citizen. The conflict arises from the fact that they fought for independent thinking that things will change when is the get independence eh mgogoro huu wa watu na serikali yao walikuwa kiamini kwamba uh, wanapigania uhuru kwamba maisha mazuri yatakuja pale ambapo wataweza kuipindua serikali iliyo and also have social conflict lakini pia tuna migogoro ya kijamii there is a conflict between the Remy and his society eh huu mgogoro tunaona pale ambapo Remy anaanza kugombana na jamii yake <coughs> This is a result from approach in which Remy addresses the people uh, without respect. Ini kutokana na modality aliyotumia Remy kuwashawishi watu bila kutumia heshima. He attacks them for uh, perpetuating tribalism, religious difference and shackles of caste. In pale ambapo alikuwa anawaraumu kwa kuwa wa kabila na wa dini. Mm, hakutumia heshima, alikuwa akitumia maneno makali. And another thing in our book is all about this unit this implies that lack of agreement between people uh, this unit become when major barriers struggle for change in this country people are divided into christianity and the tribalist eh kwamba 
kuto kwa kwa umoja tunaona pale ambapo watu wanajigawanya wengine wanakuwa wanadapt Christianity pia kingine wengine wanabaki kwenye tribalistic na hawaungani kuwa kitu kimoja and another theme is all about building the future na mila nyingine ni uh, ujenzi wa jamii mpya yeah. Remy struggling to build a better future for his society he wants people to develop and to be free they suggest some of the ways through which they can bring changes eh yeah. kwanza tunaona kabisa all the way naam kwamba Remy harakati zote zake zote zilikuwa ni kustruggle kujenga jamii mpya ambayo uh, itakuwa ina usawa na ndio maana akaonesha harakati mbalimbali and also another theme in our book is all about the protest the act of being against with a certain issue eh, protest ni kitendo cha kupinga unakuona ah uh, upo against yani unapinga kitu fulani katika jamii uh, this is expression uh, people in this place shows protest against unfair or new black man's government is a country which practice as the colonial regime lakini kumbuka watu walikuwa wanapinga serikali mpya ambayo ipo na ilikuwa ikifanya vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vikifanywa sawa na wakoloni for example the issue of exploitation land alienation uh, that is why people tend to protest ini kutokana na issue ya land alienation uh, watu kunyang'anywa ardhi na unyonyaji ndio maana wakataka kuweza kupindua serikali ambayo ipo madarakani another thing is all about tribalism semina nyingine ni uh, ukabila kama tulivyoiona hapo mwanzo and also have the theme of corruption lakini pia tuna theme za azamira ya rushwa classes uh, between the rich and the poor christians and the traditionalist and also we have the theme of betrayal uh, also portrayed in this book uh, for example when remy betrays his uh, his villagers and run away to the city Now let we'll me turn our attention in two messages found in this book. Kwa sasa tuangalie ujumbe unaopatikana katika kitabu chetu. First of way is uh, first of all is running away from the problem is not a way of solving them. Kwanza kukimbia tatizo si njia ya kusolve tatizo. And also we do not solve problem by committing suicide. Eh yeah, kama tusisolve matatizo kwa kujua kama alivyofanya Thoni. And also tribalism, racialism, disunity and religious conflict are obstacle to development. Lakini issue kama ukabila, ubaguzi wa rangi na kutokuwa na kwa umoja ni issue ambazo zinakamilisha maendeleo. And another message is that betrayal is not a good as it can cause unnecessary conflict. Issue nyingine ni kwamba usaliti sio mzuri kwani unaweza ukasababisha migogoro katika jamii. And also classes should be discarded as they bring this unit in the side. Lakini pia matabaka ni lazima yapigwe vita kwani yanaondoa umoja katika jamii. So this play is relevant in several number of ways because there are people who run away from their problems and also as some people commit suicide in our contemporary life issues such as betrayal, widow inheritance, uh, racialism uh, also appeared in our contemporary uh, life. Kwa kitabu hichi kitabakia kuwa na uhalisia uh, katika jamii zetu. Kwani issue mbalimbali zilizoonyeshwa katika kitabu chetu zipo zinatokea katika jamii zetu. Ah mpenzi msikilizaji, usahau kuni follow, kusubscribe, ku like na comment katika YouTube channel yangu ambako natumia jina la teacher Hassan Lemunje. Pia napatikana kwa namba za simu za 0625 48822 kunicheki tukawasiliana kwa maswala mbalimbali ya kitaaluma na usikose sehemu ya pili ya uchambuzi wa fani wa kitabu chetu hichi cha leo asante sana kwa kunisikiliza